Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's continue with our series for parametric analysis. So today I'm going to discuss the third point in our series, geometric parametrization. In geometric parametrization, we will parameterize our geometry and see how we can run series of simulation for different version of our geometry. So for this simulation, I have uh, selected a geometry for a manifold. Manifold is uh, actually a parallel pipe connection which is uh, used in process industry wherever you want to distribute your fluid in multiple parallel channels. For example, it could be used for cooling or to distribute your mainstream into various uh, parallel stream for example you want to distribute your uh, product in different lines and so it has a, a lot of applications and the major problem in manifold design is that to get the equal flow in each parallel channel so for that the dimension of these manifold need to be carefully designed so we will see how we can parameters this geometry to find the optimum solution for the equal distribution of flow in all these parallel channels. So let's get started with the geometry. So first let's draw the geometry and uh, before that uh, always do one thing for good practices. So whenever you are going to do 2D analysis so for that always go to geometry and always select your analysis type 2D. It is good practice to do that to avoid some problems which you might face if you leave it as 3D geometry. Although you can solve that problem, but to avoid any unnecessary problem, you can do that. So let's start with the geometry. We will start with the geometry in front plane. So as I mentioned earlier, always draw your 2D geometry in XY plane. So for to draw manifold, let's start with the rectangle and uh, I have already tried this one. So I know the dimension. So I will use those dimension directly. So length 100 and uh, 100 millimeter length and uh, 10 millimeter diameter. So this one is the main channel. We've, let's uh, make a copy of this one so for that oh sorry so now we want to make a copy for this one so that let's select this one to do a copy so there are different ways so easiest one to select move tool so you will see this move button for that press control key and just move it down so it will create a copy and i want to have a distance between them of 50 millimeter. So in move tool, if you don't press hold key, so you can move to this one directly. If you press hold key, so it will create a copy. So we wanted to create a copy, that's why I pressed hold key. Now move uh, this one uh, towards left by 25 millimeter because there was a difference between these two heights. Now let's draw a parallel channel. So first parallel channel is at a distance of 5 millimeters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So start from here and the width would be let's have a width of 4 millimeter and height 40 millimeter and that's it now let's make a copy select this one and it is selected now move so we want to create a copy and we want to have a distance of 15 millimeter between them it has created one copy then again hold control another copy so now distance should be 30 millimeter because we are creating copy from this one. So 15, another 15, 30. So you can continue, hold and move another one. So now next one would be 45. And the last one would be 60. So our geometry is finished. Oh, we have to remove few lines. So 
we have to create a geometry so we need to remove these lines for that use this trim tool remove these lines So our geometry is finished. So let's move to the 3D. Press this one and you are in 3D. So first let's move this one at this center. For that one, select this one, select move tool, and we want to move it to center. So you select this option, this uh, icon, and it means you want to move your geometry to a particular point so when I select this one and I click this one center and it has moved our geometry at this center so now what we want to do as I mentioned earlier in manifold uh, you want to have equal distribution in these parallel channels for that one you need a particular ratio between your main channel and this parallel channel so it means in this simulation we want to vary the diameter of these main channel and want to see on which diameter we get the equal distribution in the all these parallel channel so we will try different versions and there we will vary the inner diameter and this outlet diameter and this one we will keep constant which is five millimeter so to make it a parameter how you would do that for that you need a pull tool select pull tool and select this line so you want to pull this line but uh, to make it parallel come here and here you define the your reference point so select this one and our reference point at this line so now you see at uh, this small p it means if you click now this P, this length, which is 10 millimeter right now, it will become a parameter. So press this one and it is creating a parameter and you will see soon over here. Yeah, so one parameter is created. Uh, we will see, just give me a minute, let me create another one. So similarly, select this line. We need our reference, hold control, press this one and you see this one over here and you can see our parameter is created with respect to this line press this p and another parameter has been created uh, just give it a second here are both of parameter have been created so let's give them a name you can leave it you can leave as it is or you can give them a name so just rename by double click so let's call it inlet dia and uh, let's call this one outlet dia and just to check uh, let's give it a number maybe let's check it for uh, 20 and you can see it has changed so another one let's say five so here yeah. you can also check this one let's give it a 15 and both are working fine so let's move back to okay let's start with five and we can give different dimensions in our parametric analysis so here our geometry has been finished so let's close this one and move to the meshing and here you can see the parameter set has been added if you double click on this one you can see parameter and our parameter inlet dia and outlet dia they have been created uh, here is here are here are we in meshing so first let's define few things we could have defined name selection in space claim as well but uh, wherever you like you can define so it doesn't make much difference so let's call it inlet so for name selection for example you want to define here so select this one 
either you can right click name selection create name selection or there is an other way for that for example select this one and press and on your keyboard and is the shortcut key so let's call it outlet so inlet outlet and the other one we want to define walls for that one for example click this one and select control a all have been selected press control and deselect this one this this and this press n let's call them inflation or boundary layers and click ok so we have defined all these things let's call it uh, a fluid you don't need to do that but yeah that's a practice what i do normally for uh, meshing i'm not going to use much uh, finer mesh but uh, for the time being i'm going with point uh, i think four millimeter yes and also i want to use inflation for that going to insert inflation and inflation you need to select surface so here we want what here we want to add our inflation and in inflation uh, okay in geometry selection name selection and uh, we want to add on the inflation layers and uh, let's have five layers that's it then then generate mesh so meshing has been generated so few thing a few comments about meshing first of all i'm not going into the detail of uh, meshing uh, so you need to do by yourself a grid resolution study how you can do that for that i have a separate video i will provide the link in the description the other thing the inflation layer i have just added five layers i did not check the required length or required height of the first cell that you need to calculate beforehand so that i will disc that i will cover in some other video where i will discuss the boundary layer at this time i have just created uh, here i have just created a mesh with good enough number of uh, elements so if we see so i have 200000 actually it looks uh, much finer but anyway let's close this one and move to the fluent I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the second part of the video. Thank you.